Hi guys, welcome to Jacob's Bougie Garden. It is pouring down the rain outside and it is cold. So, I thought we'd do an inside job today. I thought we would do a little project. Um, I have a wreath that is all summery and I want to change it to fall. So, I thought I'd take you guys along with me. So, I'm going to give you a little tour of my downstairs. Um, this is my craft room and our little den area where we just hang out and um, yeah, let you see what's going on. So I thought I'd give you a quick tour of my downstairs. So this is as you walk in the door here and I have a fireplace and this is a garage. So this right here is the garage door and I have a curtain over it my question to you guys I want more light in here because it's so dark so I'm thinking of putting French doors there so leave in the comments below what you think whether I should put French doors or a bay window or just windows um, just let me know because I would like to have my plants down here for the winter time but there's no light down here so um, let me know in the comments below what you think I should put right here I think French doors would look gorgeous so we'll see um, this is the wall leading into the other garage bay um, my son and I built this wall and then I just put it's a contact paper and I put it sideways to make it look like shiplap so it turned out really good. There's still some work to be done down here, but I think it's turned out good so far. And here's the sofa in the craft room. Um, I have a, another fireplace mantle over here. And I have shelves that go all the way across here. It has all my craft supplies on it. And then here is under the steps. So in this area here is all shelves, just for storage. And then I had an old cabinet that I whitewashed and redone and it holds extra blankets, quilts, and extra things like that. And I have my sewing machine and my table, my working table um, over here. You can see this is all my crafty stuff and um, little things I've done and Jacob's pictures and things like that. This is where I do my sewing when I sew. Um, it's a great little spot. This is a dining room table that um, a leg broke off of it so I cut it in half and hung it on the wall. And it makes the perfect little sewing today table. And if we wind around here, there's the other fireplace mantle. And those are just um, electric logs, just to give some ambulance. And then my craft table right here, and our little project, what we're going to be doing. Sorry, I keep sticking my finger in the way. And this right here is an old dresser that I found at a yard sale for $35. It was um, bubblegum pink and I have painted it black. But this is the reason I bought this. Look at this. These are real glass knobs. They're gorgeous. And I cleaned them. They had pink paint all over them. I cleaned them good and scrubbed them good and put them back on. These are the drawer fronts. <coughs> and what I'm gonna do with this piece of furniture this will be the sink base for the camper outside. Um, Charlotte, I know I show you seen her in another video, is my 1976 RV that we are renovating. It had to be completely gutted and redone. All the wood inside was rotted. So we are almost to the point to put walls up. We've got to do electricity. And then we'll get the walls up. And as soon as we get to that point, I'm going to take you guys along with me with decorating and getting it all 
ready to go. So I'm really excited. I think it'll be a fun project. So this is just an old wicker dresser someone gave me and I've absolutely loved it. I've had it for years and years and it's went through all the kids and all their bedrooms and this ended up being the perfect little spot for it. So let me show you what we're gonna get into today. Okay guys, this is what we're gonna do today. This was my summer wreath that was hanging outside on the garage door and we're going to turn it into fall. So the first thing I'm going to do is just remove everything that's on here and everything. All right, so I'm just going to take all this greenery off here. And this stuff I just stuck down in here. I did not um, glue it or anything. I'm going to stick it right down here out of the way. Um, so this baby breath was in here when I bought it. Next, um, we might just leave that. So I'm just gonna pull these out. And guys, I do buy artificial flowers. I go on Amazon and get them. Um, they are UV protected, so they last me a couple years. Um, they may fade out just a little bit, like this green right here has fade out a little bit. And what I'll do, like next summer when I get ready to do this, I'll just get some cheap green spray paint and I'll just shoot it a little bit and it brightens it up and looks like brand new and I can use it again. Um, this stuff is not expensive. You can buy um, quite a bit of it. Um, I think like, I don't know. I'll just link it down below so you can go online and look. Um, but these are great things for um, grease, little just things that you need something somewhere, but you don't have, can't put a real plant in. That's what I'm trying to say. I love my real plants, but I like my little flakings too. <laughs> Gonna leave what's on there so this is what we've got to work with now we'll just leave it on there and i have picks just different picks um some of them came from ollie's some of them came from the dollar tree um yeah most of them came from the dollar tree or ollie's um actually ollie's has really good um picks like these picks came from ollie's and these did also, and I have just loved these. Just watch where you put them. If you put them outside, they will shed and make kind of a mess, but they're so pretty in arrangements. Um, so that's what we got to work with. So I'm gonna start with these. Um, I think they'll look really cute in there. And these are leftover, like I said, from last year. And I'm just gonna go in here and stick them down in here. Um, the wreath came from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. It was on clearance for like 70% off because it was broke and yucky looking and out of season. And so I am a cheapskate and I buy things on sale and cheap. <laughs> That's just the way I am. I can't help it. Um, there's no sense in spending a lot of money on something. You're going to stick it outside anyway. So. I'm going to go and put these in here. Put them down in there where they're nice and tight. I have no rhyme or reason. Just use four of those and stuff them around. Okay, so then I have 
these guys. I think these came from the Dollar Tree. Pretty sure they did. Um, I'm just going to go around and kind of stick those in. Going back outside. It is covered. <laughs> I was just bombarded with stickers. And um, I just got them outside with this because I am not going to be. Hey guys, I want to show you what I got finished. Everything is cleaned up and decorated for fall. There's our wreath we made. It looks so cute. And then <clears throat> I went the other day to a local um, greenhouse in Abingdon, Virginia, and they had this pumpkin head. And I thought he was so cute. Look at him. He's got the coolest face on him. Look. So I thought he would be really cute there. And I did something crazy. <laughs> so the plant that I told you I hate it here, I took it out. And so anyway, I dug up the hookra and I put it in the pot. And then I took the ugly plant around here and stuck it in the ground so I'll cut him back he'll come back next year and hopefully he'll look a little bit better so I think that turned out so pretty right there everything looks good I stuck the little froggy right there Next to the other frogs, I pulled these plants that were here up. They were fake. They looked cruddy. So I got rid of those. Um, next year, I wanna, I'll go ahead and put some Creeping Jenny or some, um, some kind of Creeping something that'll come over that wall. I may have some more ivy that would be pretty over that wall too. So... Let me just give you a quick scan of what I got done today. Go back here where you can actually see everything. Turned out really pretty. So everything looks pretty good. I love it. Okay, I will definitely see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day, bye. I don't, why does that keep doing it? with stink bugs this year. This, uh, just in the past few days, it's just like, boom, they took a helicopter and dumped them over top of my house. I don't know what is going on with that, but. Okay, sorry. It's gonna suck. We're just us all in this stupid thing. Okay, never mind. Cut. And there's a mom who just hits me. Now I literally just brought this in from her. I don't know why when I point at it, it um, goes blurry. So. <laughs> That's hilarious. But anyway.